20 is two minutes of your time. Do you feel me? Yeah. You got that? Yeah. You're ready. I just need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? I told you, am I a liar? Am I a liar? You don't want to see me mad. I'll be coming with the feedback. You don't want to taste that. Don't want to see me on attack. Trust me, you don't want to face that. I can get a phone right now. Hey, let's call a customer. Somebody, let's get a previous customer. Can somebody get into a CRM? What, are you ready? Hold on, hold on, but I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you have that down? Okay, hold on, who, who can do this in this room? Who can do this? Who wants to be a hero in this room right now? Come on, you want, can you do this? Come here. All right, all I need is somebody who bought a vehicle back in 2021. Now, he doesn't work at this store. She's pulling up the CRM. Oh, who works in this store? Yeah, that's a better question. Well, then you're going to do it, little lady. <laughs> hey, first of all, I you knew know this how was to... going. Yeah. Well, Tommy, you know how to do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Tommy, you're going to set the first appointment that we call. Okay. Okay? I'm willing to bet a thousand cash Tommy will set the first appointment. Now, Tommy, listen to me. Here's our deal. Number one, this is what we do. Okay? But number two, everybody in this world is going to say yes as long as you follow this. So I'm going to role play with you before we get this. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hey, this is Tommy down at Suburban. Yeah, don't have to look at me. Look here, because I want you oh, to you focus. Want me to read it? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. But I just want, I'm not going to look at you because this is a phone, okay? okay. Are you ready? Yep. Hello. Hi, this is Tommy Zagato with Suburban Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Van Arbor. How are you today? I'm doing good. What's going on? Good. I was just reviewing your account. I need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? Yeah, sure. What's going on? Awesome. Well, I've got two quick questions for you. Okay. One, do you still have the XYZ car that you purchased from us? Uh, sure do. Awesome, awesome. Well, number two, my general manager wanted me to personally reach out and ask if you still have that vehicle. If he was willing to offer you more money, more money than what your car was worth. Yeah, say more money, and then say more money. Okay. Like, like, like look, bait the money. Okay. My general, well, well good, because my general manager wanted me to ask if he was willing to offer you more money. More money than what your car was worth. Would you mind if I told you how much that was? Can I tell you? Okay? Press on that money. Okay. Okay? Make him feel it. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. Tell me. Are we skipping forward? Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Tell me. Awesome. Well, let me tell you how this works. My GM has spent thousands, hundreds of thousands in the last week over, overpaying for people's trades. He's getting so crazy that we're about to put him in a straight jacket. Okay. What time can you make it in? Right now or after work be best? All I need is two minutes of your time. Yeah. Do you feel me? Yeah. Do you got that? Yeah. You're ready. Yeah. What if I say, what if I say, oh no, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, maybe next week. My GM has to check out the vehicle for two minutes. I don't know, but maybe next week. Okay. Maybe next week. You know, or hey, oh no, actually I'm not interested. What are you going to say now? I totally understand. Let me ask you a question. Hypothetically, if your house is worth 100K and someone was going to give you 500 Say 100 grand. 100 grand. Would you, and someone was going to pay you 500 grand, would you give them two minutes of your time? Sure. When can you come in today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When can you come in today? All I need you to come in is for two minutes. Can you come in right now or after work be best? You're going to push through. Do you feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, did we just fill this hole? Did I show you guys how to do it? Who thinks that she can set an appointment on the first time they come in? <laughs> want me to tell you how to sell them when they get here? Yep. Okay, because that's important, right? Because now when they come in, you're going to be like, oh, shit, what do we do? Okay, let me tell you what you do. You ready? Customer comes in. Hey, what's going on, Dane? Andy Elliott. Remember we spoke on the phone? Come on in. Let's take care of this. So let's go ahead and have a seat. So number one, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to get some information off your vehicle, right? Now tell me. Now, obviously, uh, when did you guys buy it? You know, um, how many other vehicles do you have? Is this your car? Is this your wife's? Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and get your keys. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some information from my manager. Is that okay? Have them have a seat. Have them have a seat. You're going to go out to the car. You're going to get some information off of it. You're going to do all that stuff. Then you're going to go to the tower, and you're going to take the keys and the trade card to the tower, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You know what you're going to do? You're going to come back, and you're going to have a seat with them. And you know what you're going to say? All right, listen, Dane, my general manager. Everybody listen. Dane, my general manager, is about to go check out your vehicle right now. I want to ask you one question. What do closers always say? Let me ask you one question. Because that's how they set you up. That's how you know you're about to get close. Let me ask you one question. Hypothetically, let's say Dane, my general manager, offered you more money than what your car was worth, right? And you were like, you know what? Get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. Let's just say you said that, right? What would you replace it with? 
Would it be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty? What would it be? And shut up. And whatever they say, you'd be like, dude, it must be your lucky day. I got something for you. Go to the lot. Forget the car. Doesn't matter. We're going to give them the money. Now we need to know what they would trade in. Now they're committing to what they would upgrade. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's write that down. Or do we have the list? We've got a number and a name right here. Emily just brought up. Okay. Well, she went down there and she came back with one. Hopefully they answer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I go back down again. I'm like, we got one person. All right. All right. Well, number one. I'm willing to bet $1,000 she's going to set this appointment. That's how much I know this works. Okay? You ready? Let's roll. By the way, this is nothing. This is easy. Hey, make everybody proud. Tommy. Hi, is this Joshua? Hey Josh, this is Tommy Zagato with Suburban Chrysler Dodge Cheap Ram of Ann Arbor. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good. I was just reviewing your account. I just need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? Sure. Perfect. I've got two quick questions for you. One, do you still have the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee that you purchased from us? We do. Awesome, awesome. My general manager wanted me to personally reach out and ask if you still have that vehicle. If he was willing to offer you more money more money than what your car is worth. Would you mind if I told you how much that was? Can I tell you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, awesome. Let me tell you how this works. My GM has spent hundreds of thousands in the last week overpaying for people's trade-ins. He's getting so crazy, we're about to put him in a straight jacket. So what time can you come in? I just need two minutes, we'll check it out, and we'll make you a offer. Oh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I have time. Uh, Say if your house is worth a hundred grand. I don't know who that was. Hey, just say times have changed. I don't know who that was, but listen, it, 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 this is where you're going to win the lottery. I only need two minutes. Okay, I totally understand. Uh, I don't know who that was that talked to you last year, but times have changed. Uh, let me ask you a quick question. Hypothetically, if your house was worth 100K and someone was going to give you 500K, would you give them two minutes of your time? Oh, I need you to come. <laughs> yeah. I need you to come in. Awesome. Well, I just need you to come in so we can get that appraisal done. Say two minutes. Say two minutes. All I need is two minutes. Say all I need is two minutes. Say, hey, say all I need is two minutes. I won't waste your time. Tell them. Okay. Well, all I need is two minutes. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to blow you away. I'm going to blow you away. Okay. All I need is two minutes of your time. I'm going to blow your mind. I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. This is my name. What time can you be here? This is my name. Okay, and you can't, you can't do that over the phone. Again. Not on the phone. Not on the phone. I can't do it over the phone. We need our general manager to check it out. So, what time can you be here? I'm gonna blow you away. I'll be here till eight o'clock tonight. I'm gonna have my daughter. My wife works till eight. Okay. Just tomorrow. Okay. But I guess, I mean, I can maybe swing. You can bring your daughter in. We have a playroom for her. I can set her up with some snacks. I'm a mom myself, so whatever you need, I can make it happen for you. Okay, um, Glover, uh, is this the number I call you at? Yes. Yep, this is my cell phone. I'm also here tomorrow from 9 to 6. So what day works best for you and time? Probably tomorrow, to be honest with you. Tomorrow, tomorrow what time? Let's tomorrow what time? Um, Told you, every time. Every time. I can do 10 for 10. Okay, does 315 work? Yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. I'm going to text you the address. I know you know where we're at, but this is my cell phone number. And my name. And I'll text you my exact name, address, everything, and I'll see you at 315 tomorrow. All right, thank you. All right, have a good day. All right, what did I just tell yeah, you? Yeah, let's go! Hey, I told you, am I a liar? Am I a liar? No. I told you, didn't I? Listen, it's taking, taking candy from a baby. It feels exciting to win. What did I say? Well, no, but I said run the play. Am I right? Run the play. So here's what we got. We got everybody counting all their money here on the lot, but nobody's dialing on the phone. 
And all these people, listen, he's like, well, I checked back last year. Dude, you checked last year, dude. Cars are 20 grand over sticker. No wonder he didn't buy something last year. Dude, if this guy bought a car in 2021, listen to me. In 2021, he probably got a good deal. They probably had rebates on it. Right now, that car is probably worth good money. He's not upside down on it. Your manager would love to take it in for a trade-in. He's probably dying to get a 2021 Cherokee. The guy obviously now is going to need to, what step two, which is where we're going to ask him when he comes in. All right, my general manager is going to check it out. He's obviously going to blow you away, but I have a question, okay? Let's say that we made you a crazy offer, and you're like, and, I, and by the way, can you guys play with me? I say, it goes like this. So let's act like I'm with her, okay? And I'm like, okay, cool. So, so, all right, so here's the point right now. Obviously, if my general manager comes in here in a minute, he's going to make you a crazy offer, and you're going to be like, you know what? Get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. I'm sure that's going to happen. When you do, what are you going to replace it with? Is it going to be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage? What would it be? That next thing they say is the car we're going to sell them. Dude, I swear, if you guys will listen to me, I'll make you more money than you know what to do with. The, the market is dying to pay all of you, but you must be skilled and you must, be, you must believe. And guys, you gotta understand what training is about. Training is exciting. Dude, when you train with people, and I just want to tell you guys something, like, that have never succeeded or done anything, like, I get it. I wouldn't believe it either. If a guy was telling me how to sell stocks and he ain't never sold stocks before, like, I wouldn't want, or, or he was a stock salesman. But if I was talking to a person that made hundreds of millions of dollars on, the wall, on Wall Street with stocks, I'm like, dude, teach me everything you know. And when they tell me the play, I'm just going to run it. And by the way, my goal is, is that when I speak to you guys and I tell you, you got to run the play. You did a really good job on that call. Did you hear how the words matter? Right? And did you notice? He's like, well, can't you tell me on the phone? And I was like getting in her face. I'm like, don't oh, tell him no. Get his ass here. Go, go, go. Right? Like, like you guys need to have me in your ear thinking like, would Andy trip shit right now? Like if this guy was telling me no, you, and by the way, I need you to know that when I sold, I didn't have an Andy around me saying, push through, push through, make the sale, get it done. I was like, dude, I don't eat if I don't get this deal. Come on, man, are you kidding me? I'm gonna blow you away, man. And that, do you notice how she said, if your house is worth 100 grand, I give you 500 grand, you wouldn't give me two minutes of your time? I'm framing people where they can't say no. They can't say no, they can't. They have to say yes. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.